EPA AAA meteorologist Bobby Martich here with your outlook for the weekend, November 23rd and 24th, 2024. It is Saturday, and the weekend video forecast is probably sponsored by the KP Agency in eastern Pennsylvania. It's down to the wire, just 15 days left of the Medicare annual enrollment period, and if, you're, if you've been putting it off, it's time to act now. Kristen, the owner of KP Agency, is a local reliable source ready to help you find the right coverage. Whether it's Part D, Medicare Advantage, or Supplement Plans, Kristen and her team are your one-stop shop for everything Medicare in the Lehigh Valley. A quick call or click can give you the peace of mind knowing that you've got the best plan for 2025. Don't wait. Call 908-329-7140. Again, that number is 908-329-7140. Or visit them online to the kpa.net. And don't forget to tell her that Bobby sent you. They are the KP Agency in Easton, Pennsylvania, proud sponsors of the weekend video forecast. So we had a uh, system that affected us over a couple of days, much needed rainfall or at least rainfall equivalent uh, with uh, some, some snow amounts that were very impressive across the highest peaks of Northeast PA and Northwest New Jersey. We actually had a 20 inch report, 20 inches across northwest Pennsylvania in Sussex, Sussex County at High Point. And uh, we had a lot of 12 plus, 12 to 18 inch range amounts that were found over Northeast PA, some even higher than that. So, I mean, this was a very, we, we build this as, a, as an elevation dependent storm. And when you got above 1,800 feet, it was just no holds barred. It was, it was all... Uh, snow at that point and they had a lot of snow and once you got down in elevations it really dropped off significantly it was a significant significant drop off to the lower elevations but you still had some areas still getting several inches of snow even in the lower elevations until you got down to about i-78 we were expecting a coating to winch there i did in fact at my house in the northern part of whitehall get a coating of snow but uh you know i, I know a lot of areas around uh, near Allentown and Bethlehem that didn't get anything at all. Like it snowed all day, but it wasn't really, it wasn't sticking. So we had a lot of that here in the lower elevations. We build this as a, as a, as an elevation dependent storm. And that's exactly what it was. Okay. That's what we're going to have, uh, when you're having any kind of storm like this in November with an upper level low present, uh, that is now off to the North and East and is sitting up here, right here, uh, this morning. And because of that, the fact that it's that close to the region, there's going to be a pressure gradient wind. High pressure is going to be attempting to move into the region. So we're going to have a little bit of windy conditions today. So we look at the wind today, and this is what we're dealing with. We have a lot of 15 to 25 mile per hour gusts that are going to be common. Some peak gusts that get as high as 30 miles per hour. And this is going to be mainly this afternoon where you have the highest winds. And uh, in the higher elevations where you have the most snow, you're going to have some wind gusts 30 to 35 miles per hour today, okay? Uh, so this is all in relation to that pressure gradient that I'm talking about with the low exiting and high pressure trying to move in. And then we get to Sunday, still breezy on Sunday, but not quite as windy. We're looking at 10 to 15 gusting to 25 here on Sunday. So it will be a breezy weekend overall. You're not going to be... Uh, too fond of the wind after this weekend, that's for sure. Uh, once we get past this here, we are uh, partly to mostly sunny today with those breezy conditions and then partly cloudy here again on Sunday. Monday is going to be partly cloudy to start. Then when clouds increase as this next system comes in, this is a cold front uh, in association with this area, low pressure right here. Cold front's going to uh, move through our region. <coughs> Excuse me. Cold front's going to move through the region and give us some showers here in the overnight period late Monday night into Tuesday morning, and this is going to be in the form of rain. There's no chance of any winter precipitation with this particular uh, front because we're going to be milder both Monday and Tuesday. Both days are going to be slightly above average, as I outlined in the long-range outlook here that we do every single Friday. On the website, temperatures in the middle to upper 50s on Monday and Tuesday. And then in the wake of that, uh, Wednesday turns cooler. We're back in the 40s, it looks like, for most areas. Except for our southeastern areas, you might get into the lower 50s. And then Thursday is Thanksgiving. Now, this is a in an interesting period. We have to watch very closely because there is a potential for some wintry precipitation with this as well. And it's going to be favoring the interior locations. Here's the, here's the uh, European model that ran today. It does have 
some precipitation with this that is in the form of snow. So we have to watch this very closely. Uh, it could be something like we start off as snow, go over to rain, and then back over to snow overnight Thursday night, which is what the European model is suggesting here. And that goes into Black Friday in the morning with this snow. This is not a lot of snow, but you know this time of year, if you're getting three to six, four to eight inches, that's significant, right? So the areas that stay mostly snow or all snow could have that upside potential. With this particular storm, the GFS that came in this evening is doing something somewhat similar as I move this forward here in time. Here's that cold front moving through Tuesday. Watch what it does here on uh, Thursday, on Thanksgiving Day. This is actually overnight it comes in, overnight Thursday night and a Friday morning when temperatures are colder. So the key factors to this are going to be track of this low pressure, even though it's a very elongated and weak uh, low. There's a low here is sitting here, a very broad area low pressure here you can put a couple low centers here one here uh there's a lot of a uh, lot of uh, uncertainty with how intense this storm is going to be uh where is going to is it is exactly going to track and how much cold air is available and what's the timing of it the timing all those things that i mentioned all four things are going to be very critical to what the precipitation type is going to be for this coming event uh the gfs was not on board with this prior and then the latest run, that which is the the evening run of the uh, GFS, came around to the idea that there's going to be at least some snow opportunity here. It's not going to be a lot of snow. Again, uh, there's the opportunity for snow here uh, Thursday night and Friday morning, but is it going to be significant? Maybe, but not to the level we're gonna, we, we just dealt with. We're not going to get any reports here of, uh, of a foot plus out of this kind of system, okay? It doesn't look like it right now. We're going to continue to follow this here in the week ahead, but right now the call here is that we have a storm there. It's a signal, but we don't have concrete information about exactly what it's going to do as far as precipitation type and for what areas. I will say that the interior areas, at least climatologically speaking, are going to favor snow, and the farther southeast areas are going to favor rain. So we're going to continue to monitor this in the week ahead. The next video we do is, of course, Monday morning. And we'll have an update on that. And we'll see what it does over the weekend. A lot of things are going to happen here over the next uh, 48 hours. They're going to make sure, you know, as far as synoptic as we're concerned, that are going to determine exactly what this does. And we just don't have the answer for that yet. But we're going to continue to follow it here in the week ahead. I'm EPA Dubway Meteorologist Bobby Marchers. That is your outlook for November 23rd and 24th, the weekend video forecast. Have a great weekend.